Now let's get a bit lower level and talk about number three, which is vector database. So in a vector database, we don't store raw data like text files and like images just as blobs of data. We actually use something called an embedding model. And that embedding model is used to convert that data from these images here into actually a vector. Now, what is a vector? Well, a vector is essentially just kind of a, a long list of numbers. And that long list of numbers captures the semantic meaning of the context. Now, what's the benefit of doing that? Well, in a vector database, we can perform searches as mathematical operations, looking for vector embeddings that are close to each other. And that translates to finding semantically similar content. So we might start with, let's say, a picture of a mountain vista, something like this. And then that picture is broken down by the embedding model into vectors, a multi-dimensional numeric vector. And we can perform a similarity search to find items that are similar to that mountain picture by finding the closest vectors in the embedding space. Or it could be similar text articles, or it could be similar music files, whatever you want. 